Hi, AD. I'm Taylor Hill, and welcome to my home. Come on in. This is my house here in Nashville. I have been living here for almost three years. I looked and looked and looked. I must have looked at 50 houses. And then I stumbled across this log cabin just here in the middle of Nashville. And I was shocked that something like this existed. And I basically fell in love at first sight. I walked in the front door and said, this is home. This is where I'm meant to be. This is everything I could possibly want in a house and more. Here in my living room, I was very inspired by Ralph Lauren and his home in Telluride. I drew a lot of what I wanted to do with the space kind of from photos I had seen from that. And I fell into a deep dark hole on the internet to find shearling chairs that looked Western and had some leather detail on it. But I finally found these chairs, which I love so much. And then I have all these beautiful rugs throughout all my house that I'm obsessed with. That's where I started, was on the floor with the rugs and then built up from there. And then of course I have my Ralph Lauren 50 year anniversary book with a million photos. Also where I got some of my inspiration from. Thanks Ralph, love you. <laughs> this is my mom's. She's had this for longer than I've been alive, more than 25 years. It's been in every house she's ever had growing up. And then, you know, she sold my childhood home and moved to the mountains full time. And she was like, I have nowhere to put this. And I was like, well, I have a house now. I'm a homeowner, so you can give it to me. And she just hung it on the wall. And I was like, it's like it was made for this place. Thanks, mom. <laughs> So there is a church pew over there in the corner. That is from the Nashville flea market. We stumbled across a booth that had all of this old furniture from local churches all around Tennessee. I'm pretty sure the guy said that that one was from Paris, Tennessee, which I didn't know there was Paris in Tennessee, but apparently there is. It came like this, it was painted white. People use it to take off their shoes or put on their shoes, tape. My dog here loves to lay here. <laughs> it's really cool uh, in this corner close to the floor because of all the cement and stuff. So you like that, right? This, I found uh, a local antique store called Gas Lamp. I love it in there. I pretty much go there every day. And I was just walking around in there looking one day and I saw this painting and I tried to take a step back because to me, I really felt like this was one of the most Tennessee things I had ever seen. It was so serene and peaceful and the colors and the cows. It reminded me of the first time I came here and really why I fell in love with Nashville, just the rolling hills. It's so green and so lush. I really fell in love with it. I use this room kind of as a calm space. I don't have a TV in here. I have no electronics in here. This is really where I come to unplug, read a book, feel like I'm away from the world. When I have my family in town, we'll sit in this room and play the guitar, which makes me really happy because that's Nashville. And I find this space really inspiring and conducive to creative thinking. So for me, that this is where I come to really think and brainstorm. And a lot of people come to think and brainstorm. <laughs> this is my dining room. I love everything in this room. I picked out every single thing you see in this room and it took me forever to do it. For me, family dinners are very important and how we all sit down at the table means so much to me. And I love a round table, a big round table so everybody can see everyone, everybody's conversing and can talk to one another and you're not leaning over someone to shout down the end of the table because I have such a big family. So finding a ginormous round table that was not too modern was impossible, literally impossible. I bought one table and then the next day I found the actual table. So then I had to return the other table to get this one, which is what you see here today. The photos that you see on the wall are blueprints of this house from when it was originally built in the 40s. I did find these blueprints when I first moved in in a cabinet and I unrolled them and I was like, well, that's old and cool. Put them up on the wall. 
When I first moved in, it was painted a really beautiful color of like a dark charcoal gray, which looked amazing, but it gets the least amount of light. So I decided to paint the whole room white. Then when I found the blueprints, I was like, I know the perfect spot for them where they're gonna pop. So then I got the inspiration for the mix matched chairs to all be blue so they have some sense of unity and then they go with what really is the star of the room is the blueprints on the walls. Interior design is something that I've always loved and when I bought this house, this is the first house I ever bought. So I had a vision and I had a feeling when I walked in here and I really wanted to grab onto that and express that and make it my own and take on the challenge of really doing it myself and seeing if I could do it. I really learned so much about this house and about each room and every little piece by doing it myself. So I feel as if I really appreciate it to the full capacity that it should be appreciated. These plates are my grandmother's. My grandma passed away when I was five, so I never really got to meet her. And these were in my house growing up. And I never really understood what they were, where they were, they were from, and why my mom always kept them locked away. So when I bought this house and she came here and she was, she was just in awe and she thought that this room would be the perfect place to keep them. And then it was just, everything kind of clicked because the blueprints and plates all kind of matched and came together. So it really feels like my home because I have pieces of my family watching over me. Next, we will go into my other living room. I have two, but this is the one that we use the most, so. This is the second living room. It is massive. This is like the hangout room and probably one of the most used rooms in the house. I really thought of it as the place where we would all gather, sit, have movie nights, when I come down first thing in the morning, I love to sit in here because it's so bright. All of the windows and the greenery, I can really see outside. And it's just one of also just, oh, another one of my favorite places <laughs> to be <laughs> again. I have this ginormous bookcase here, which I'm still working on filling because it is massive. You know, I've just got a bunch of stuff that I've kind of collected over the years from being here. I have the sink, so I have my bar here. I love elephants. You'll notice that I have elephants kind of all over the house. They're a bit sneaky. They're always in the background hanging out. That could be a drinking game. You can you spot the elephant, take a shot. <laughs> It'll be very drunk in my house. <laughs> I didn't really know what to do to really highlight the windows and kind of show the space. And I was at the flea market with my mom and we saw this guy that had a bunch of old trunks, hundreds of them. And my mom said it would be really cool to get a bunch of trunks and kind of line them up under the windows. And it's storage, so I store a lot of my outdoor pillows inside of the trunks when it rains. So I have the world's biggest couch in this room because it was so massive. I needed a ginormous couch to just fill the entire space. And I have a huge family. Also, I'm very tall, so I wanted it to be very long. And then another thing is I had to take into account the fact that I had this gorgeous angel of a dog that just rips up couches. So I really wanted to find a couch that could take that. I got this from Restoration Hardware. I saw it and I was like, that's the perfect couch. It didn't look much different than this. There's a little more scratches on it because of, look at the camera and, and look them in the eye until you ruined the couch. And I was like, I'm gonna need the full sectional. They thought I was crazy. They were like, what, like the full thing? So it really took up the whole room. And it's still sometimes not big enough. People still sit on the floor when we watch movies in here with friends and family. Ah. That's what you like to do. You like to smooth on the couch. All right, welcome to the upstairs. I love this room. I walked in here and immediately felt at home. The log walls, the low ceilings, it felt really cozy and homey. So I kind of just went with what was already here and made it my own. I chose the bed frame and the coloring because I found this rug at an auction house. And because of the warm orange yellow tones, I thought that the room deserved some matte gold, nothing too shiny, nothing too new or modern looking. I also thought that, you know, an iron bed frame is typical classic log cabin. I just thought it was a little more 
I don't know what the word, maybe eclectic kind of take on that is it's an iron bed frame, but it's gold. <laughs> and then here we have also one of my favorite little corners in the house. I went in to get my couch from Restoration Hardware and I saw these little teeny tiny bistro chairs and I was like, well, aren't those just adorable? Normally it kind of just, they kind of collect clothes, but I cleaned for you guys today, so there's no clothes on them, so they look very nice. But it's just a space to kind of be off the bed, and whereas if you're just sitting, chilling on your bed, it feels very, I don't want to do anything. Now, I want to show you guys a very cool room in my house that I love very, very much. Okay, here we are. This is my closet. This whole room is dedicated to my clothes. Growing up, I had to share a room with my little sister. I love you, McKinley. But it was very hard because she was always stealing my clothes. I was always stealing her clothes and I didn't really have a space that was my own. When I bought this house, I really wanted to create something that was mine and somewhere where I could just come and be my weird organized self. I color coordinate my clothes and put them in order. I like to see everything. I kind of wanted it to feel like a store. Like I could come in and kind of shop in my own closet. There's a lot more pink. It's a little bit more girly because the log cabin can feel quite masculine all the time. I really wanted to create just a couple of little spaces where I can go that were just a little bit more girly and fun and colorful and bright. I found this stained glass I thought it would be a cool idea to hang them in the window so it kind of blocked people from looking in but also did something kind of beautiful and didn't block a lot of light from coming in because I still wanted it to feel really bright in here. I just quickly wanted to show you guys this fun little corner here. I have my denim bar set up. I love jeans so much. I collect vintage jeans and I just really wanted to dedicate a space where they could all just hang so beautifully so I can see you know, I just, I like to look at it. It's very nice and it's all cohesive and I love, I love jeans. Now, I really wanna show you guys, not the main reason, but probably one of the biggest reasons why I decided to buy this house. Voila. This copper tub is everything to me. I saw this and I thought, I need this in my life. It's humongous, it's deep, I'm very tall, and I feel like I'm swimming in it. It's fantastic. It's copper, it's a heat conductive metal, so once you put the hot water in, it stays really warm for much longer, and I don't have to keep adding hot water, which I really love. You know, I just hang out here for hours on end. Here we are in my backyard. I absolutely fell in love with the outdoor space and the garden out here, which was something that was really important to me coming from New York. I really wanted a backyard that was big and lush and green and had plants. And this is just the little outdoor living room set up so I can come out here with friends and family and we set up, you know, charcuterie platters and have a glass of wine, kind of pre-dinner hangout in this area. and. It's definitely one of my favorite places to chill in the backyard. And then another huge selling factor for me for this house was the pool, which is a necessity here in Nashville. It's just refreshing. You can lay by the pool, you get really hot and you just cannonball into the crisp cold water and it just makes such a difference. I love it. All right, that is my house. I hope you enjoyed. It was so nice to have you, but it's time for you to go. But y'all come back now. See ya, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.